Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new type of video starting a new series here on my channel. I'm going to start doing what is going to be called swatch parties where once a month I will pick a palette, pick a color scheme, pick something and just swatch it and talk about it with you guys. So today I'm going to be swatching the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. I just did a series with this palette on my Instagram where I did a look using every single one of the shimmer shades in the palette so as i get to those shades i will pop the corresponding look up on screen i know it has been a minute since i've uploaded but here's my excuse i'm moving moving is insane that's it basically that's the entire excuse i've been moving and i still have not moved but i'm filming this on a monday and i'm moving this friday so things have been crazy trying to do school on top of you know moving <laughs> i also wanted to say that i did get a light i have a ring light now i'm really hoping my lighting is better i have a window on this side so i put the ring light over here did a few tests hopefully it looks okay so let's just go ahead and get started swatching this palette the first shade that i have here is called canvas and it is a white beige very light color i don't really know what else to say about it it's your typical skin tone color it's a little bit peachy this next shade is called sandy bum and it is a really lovely neutral brown and then we have the shade rise and shine which is this really gorgeous metallic like yellowy gold shade I love that shade a lot. Next is the shade called Spiced. Spiced is a nice muted red shade. And then comes my favorite shade from the palette, which is called Pariso, I think. It is this super gorgeous, like, duochrome, shifty, yellow to, like, peachy, pinkish metallic. It is so interesting. One thing I do have to say about this palette is that the shimmer shades are kind of inconsistent. So this shade right here was a little bit more wet but very firm. And then Pariso was very dry and firm. Oh, and this dark matte brown here, this is called Coconut. And that is a more cool toned matte brown. Next is this shade called Dijon and it is this really gorgeous matte mustardy color hence the name Dijon this is a super gorgeous metallic white with a pink shift and I honestly don't even know if you'll be able to see that pink shift but it is so pretty and then we have a nice light peachy orange shade this is more of a transition shade the formula on that white shimmery shade was a little bit more of the like wet but firm formula. I am really bad at this. They will get better. The light peachy orange shade was called Fuego. This is the shade called Sip Sip and this is a really really creamy shimmery reflective light shimmery blue. And then we have the shade Bahamar which is a lime green with a tiny 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 bit of reflect in it it is really pretty this shade did not apply the best on the eyes i will admit and then we have the shade tropicana which is this really pretty lavender shade so i'm going to switch to my other arm now because that arm got full so this is called caliente and it is a true rusty orange shade this shade is so pretty i love orange eyeshadow like this then we have cacao which is a matte deep brown and this one is a little bit more neutral and then we have the shade fortuna which is just a really pretty kind of copper shimmer shade then we have the shade royal which is this really gorgeous navy blue it isn't swatching the best but i have the shade on my eye today and it is so nice and easy to work with then i have the shade called disco and it is this super gorgeous shifty blue green 
purple shimmer shade. I did a look with this using Baja Mar and Tropicana and it was so <laughs> beautiful. And then last but not least, we have the black eyeshadow, which I actually used today for the first time, and this one is called Nightlife. These are the swatches of the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. This video was super short, nice, and short and sweet but that is it for this video these videos are literally just going to be me swatching eyeshadows and talking a little bit about each formula i really love this palette i will be featuring it in an upcoming mini product review video if you did like this video don't forget to subscribe before you go and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye